Amen. Imagine if those five white virgins, if the five white virgins, if the five wise, the five wise virgin that had, if there was a hole on their lamp, a hole, they stored it up with oil. Knowingly, there was a hole on the lamp. By the time they would run to raise up their light, only to discover that the oil was there. So I want us to pray, Lord, any hole that could possibly drain the oil, that could possibly drain your grace, that could possibly suffocate your grace, waste your grace, waste the oil, Lord, close that hole, close that hole. Is there any attachment that could possibly steal away the grace, rob the oil? Is there any situation around me, any hole, any hole, any situation that is drained away to, to, to rubbish the oil? Lord, block it. That if the oil, it will not flow away. It will not be wasted. Any grace waster, any oil waster, Lord, take it out of my life. Block it off my life, shall we pray? Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray that any blockage that would inhibit the flow of your oil in our lives, Heavenly Father, will be removed in the name of Jesus Christ. Any blockage, any obstacle that will hinder the flow of the Holy Spirit, the flow of your oil, the flow of your grace in my life, in our lives, Heavenly Father, pray that it be removed in the name of Jesus Christ. Any leakage, anything that will cause the grace of God to be of no benefit in my life. Any leakage, and any blockage, Father, come against it in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, any leakage that will prohibit us being full of you, being full of your oil, we render it ineffective in the name of Jesus Christ. We close this. We pray that you close any leakage for us. Of Jesus Christ, close any leakage further to the flow of your spirit in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Close any leakage to the flow of your spirit to the flow of your oil in the name of Jesus Christ.
Please unmute first. Yeah. Okay, please, uh, the admin, once I raise my hand, please just mute everybody because of our time, please, as soon as I raise my hand. Thank you so much. All right, please, this prayer we just prayed now is so, so vital. And I need us to continue. We don't have much time to pray it on this platform. Continue to dwell in this prayer. You know, you don't lose to gain. It's not, it's not profitable laboring only for it to leak away, for it to waste away. So you need to watch out any leakage in your spiritual oil tank. Please attend to that. Attend to that as soon as possible so that the things you are laboring to draw from heaven will not end up being wasted, God forbid. So look inwards and ask question, probing question in the presence of God and whatever he wants you to give attention to so that your, the oil, the grace, the anointing will be conserved or preserved or reserved. Please give attention to that. God bless you and keep you and strengthen you and cause this grace and this oil to rather grow more and more, increase more and more and not to leak away in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Let's quickly go into the book of Isaiah chapter 60, verse number 20. Isaiah 60, verse 20. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We give you praise, Master Jesus. Isaiah 60, verse 20. I read from here. He says, hmm. The sun shall no more go down. Thy sun shall no more go down. Thy sun shall no more shall no more go down. Neither shall thy moon withdraw itself. For the Lord, for the Lord shall be thy everlasting light, and the days of thy morning shall be ended. The days of thy morning shall be ended. You know, this word came to me in the midst of the night that we should use this to speak. You know, imagine God saying that to you as a person, that your light, your sun shall no more go down, neither shall your moon withdraw itself. For the Lord shall be thy everlasting light, and the days of thy morning shall be over. You see, the way like, I have five biological children. The way I see each of them, that's the way God sees the nations. That's the way God sees the continents. The whole of Asia is just like one of God's child. Africa is just like one of God's child. He sees them as individual entities. So I want us to pray for each of these continents and each of these nations that their light shall not go down that their moon, their sun, and their moon shall not go down, but that the Lord will be their light, and the days of their morning shall be over. I want us to bless these nations like a father blessing their, his children, like a mother blessing her children from the depth of his heart. Oh, Africa, oh, Asia, oh, Australia, oh, Europe, oh, North America, oh, South America, your light shall not go down. And of course, you know, when God is speaking, God is not partial. He sends rain both to the good and to the bad with the intention to cause the bad to turn to be good. Every benevolence, every goodness, every generosity of God is geared towards the redemption, the salvation of the evil, of the sinners, of the lost so that God will cause his light to burn endlessly, his fire to burn endlessly, his light, his sun to shine endlessly, ceaselessly over each of these nations. He say, your sun will never set. Oh, Africa, oh, Australia, your sun will never set. Your moon will never go down for the Lord will be your everlasting light. The days of your morning will come to an end. 
Let's begin to pray that over each of these continents. Go ahead and pray. Father, in the name that is above all name, mighty God, please, you cannot meet yourself. <laughs> Make her a basic under, make her a basic tacochica, Mavrigaza tacora bossi under, baby coshi at Tarabacoshi tacoracas attacker, Ashi tacora bossi under, Ashi alabas under Carabossi under, a precocy at Tacora bossi under. We declare the word of the Lord upon the continent of the world in the name of Jesus Christ to Africa, to Austria, to Australia to Asia, to North and South America, to Europe and the United Kingdom. We declare and decree the word of the Lord, that the light, the Lord will be your light in the name of Jesus Christ. The light shall not go down, the sun will not set, the moon will not go down, and that your days of morning will not come to an end. never the peace of God that surpasses all understanding. The light of God comes and brings the peace in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We did learn to pray that your light even not and through every kind of ignorance in the name of Jesus Christ. The face at the light of God opens the eyes of the blinded in the name of Jesus Christ to see the salvation of God. I want us to pray that scripture particularly upon the servants of God, upon the ministers of the gospel, upon the, 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 the ecclesia, 
the body of Christ. I want us to pray that scripture. When you look at the way the church is going, in some places, it looks like their, their, their sun is, is going down. It looks like their moon is going down. I want us to pray that the sun will not never set in every house of the Lord, in the mountain of the house of Israel, in the house of the Lord, in the body of Christ, the sun will never set and the moon will never go down. And it shall be said that the Lord is the everlasting light in the church, that nobody can quench the light of the church. No nation, no government, no king shall quench the light of the church in every nation, in every community, that the light of the church will burn brighter and brighter unto the perfect day. As we are heading close to the close of the age, the light of every church, every congregation, do you know the number of churches that close down in one year? It will shock you if you take the statistics of churches that closed down within 2020, 2020 globally. It will blow your mind. It ought not to be. Why do they close down? It's because of the activities of the enemy. The enemy gives multi-dimensional blow on the, the servants of God until they get discouraged, they get wearied, and they close down. A number of intercessors have given up. A number of evangelists have packed up. Churches sell their building, and uh, you know the, the enemy delights in, seeing, in, in you know in seeing such come to pass. And that's why when churches want to sell, Muslims are the first to go buy the building. They'll buy it and turn it into a mosque or turn it into a, 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 in a residential place or turn it into a, a shopping mall. That's the delight of the enemy because their light has gone off, because their moon has set, their sun has set and that the Ica board has taken over the place. I want us to pray this scripture over the church of our Lord Jesus Christ in every nation. Shall we begin to pray? Or meet yourself and pray that prayer. Father, in the name of the Lord, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray for the body of Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we pray that you restore in the name of Jesus Christ. At hope, be restored. Encouragement and disillusionment, God, Father, the my sons of God, God pray for mind, Lord, oh, heavenly Father, that you will be serving the word of God, the son 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 of Unless it is resilience in the name of Jesus Christ, and the infuse your oil, my God, infuse your oil, break the name of the heavenly Father, and stand in the spirit, and and the hope in the name of Jesus Christ, may your life. Once again, I 
Romans chapter 13, verse 12. Romans 13, verse 12. It said, The night is fast spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. Let us walk honestly as in the day, not in rioting, in drunkenness, not in chambering and in wantonness, not in strife and in envy, but put ye on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the flesh to fulfill the loss thereof. This is a word to you as a person, and it is a word to every family and to every church in this season. He says, the night is fast spent, the day is at hand, let us therefore cast off every work of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. Verse 14 says, let us put on the Lord Jesus Christ. The armor of light is Jesus Christ. Jesus is the armor of light. Let us put on the armor. Let us wear Jesus like a garment, making no provision for the flesh to fulfill his lust and desire. Let us put on the armor of light. I want us to pray again for the body of Christ that this scripture will capture every man, capture every woman, anywhere you go, anywhere you go, no matter the situation, let this scripture stand out before every one of God's children. Say the night is fast spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. Let every minister of the gospel put on the armor of light, casting off the works of darkness and being conscious of the fact that the night is fast spent, the day will soon break. Let that consciousness of eternity capture everyone. Let that consciousness of eternity capture every church and every leader of every congregation. Because as the church leader goes, so the congregation goes. As the leader goes, so the congregation goes. And as the congregation goes, so the community goes, the city goes. In other words, the, how it is in the church is how the city will go. If this church is on fire, is on fire, as though, in, um, imagine if it is proven 
like sure, like sure, that the rapture will occur in the next seven days. It is true and confirmed. You can be sure that every born again child of God will literally go on, on, on fire. Everybody will break every wall, everywhere to get the gospel preached. Within a space of three days, the gospel might almost go around the world. But there is this laxity, there is this lousiness, there is this carefree attitude because it's like we've been hearing it for ages. So nobody's even sure whether there will be rapture. Of course, you know, there are some preachers who are preaching today that there is nothing like rapture, that there is nothing like rapture. There is a movement in that regard. They say rapture is not true. It will never happen. Now, it's confusion all over the place. I want us to pray, Lord, let this consciousness come upon every believer in every of the nations that the night is fast spent, that the day is at hand. Therefore, we must cast off the works of darkness and put on the armor of light. And we are Christ Jesus. And however Christ will live, so shall we live. Imagine if every Christian in Asia is living like Christ. Every Christian in Australia, in Europe, in North and South America, in Africa, is not just going to church, not just praying alone, but is practicing Christianity in reality. Practicing Christianity in reality. It will cause the darkness over the nations to mysteriously you know, be, 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 be rolled away. So let's begin to pray, Lord, let this scripture catch up with every child that everyone that is born of the spirit shall we pray in the name of jesus father we come to you this day he said for all to more urgent for you know that that how late it is time is running out time is running out wake up for you Casually, in the name of Jesus Christ, at a dawn as ours with Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ. Abrakosi and the Lavakoshi and Kialabakosi and Rebekesi at a Kurabosi. Give us the grace, Heavenly Father. On the Lord Jesus Christ, Karabosi and Takura Bosi, and to represent you. 
Be the light, heavenly Father. Thank you to the world in the name of Jesus Christ. But heart is running out by God in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray that you will be able to find heavenly Father. Put our light, heavenly Father. Conspicuous. Our lives will be conspicuous like our lives the good works and glorify your Father in heaven. your grace. You will radiate. You are Father. In the name of Jesus Christ, and the people will know you. Oh, they see the light that radiates. We put on Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, I see the darkness at the corner of the temple. We are being cast as heaven. Let the flesh and heaven be all the time. Remember it, Lord. That time is running out, and that you are coming. Let us not be forgetful. Let us not be ignorant, my God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let us not go with us or not go with the status quo. But heaven will be cognizant of the times and the seasons. I know that Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. I want to ask Sister Mary Swanet to round up this prayer. <laughs> Thank you, Lord Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Masia Labakashia Takorabosian. Mia Takorabosi and the Father, we come with repentant hearts before you, my God. Ribakosa Takorabosi and Alabakosi and for not be mindful of the times in the name of Jesus Christ and the seasons, Father, not being sensitive to this agency. Maprakosi atakoshi and for time is ripe and time is running out. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, as you have sent us out, my God, I pray that we will hear your word, Heavenly Father, that we will speak your word, Heavenly Father, that you will put our light, Heavenly Father, our lives will be like on lampstands for people to see the glory of God, to see the salvation of God, that our lives will radiate who you are. In the name of Jesus Christ, my Father. Father, I pray that our lives will draw people unto thee, my God, in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for boldness. I pray for courage. I pray for the church. I pray for where there has been disillusionment, where there has been hopelessness, where there has been discouragement, where there has been lack of boldness, Father, where people are thinking of throwing the towel, where there has been confusion. Father, I pray for your light to permeate this kind of darkness in the name of Jesus Christ. Christ. And so we declare that the light will not go down, nor the sun, Heavenly yes, Father said, yes, on the body of Christ in the name of Jesus name Christ, of Jesus. but that hope will restore, hope will yes, arise, Christ. faith will arise in the name of I Jesus Christ, Christ, that we will look unto thee yes, and Lord. know that God, you are still seated on the throne in the name of Jesus Christ. The in earth the is your footstool. Jesus. You still yes. are in control in the name yes, of Jesus are. Christ. Yes, Stir up your, our faith, Heavenly Father. Yes. Let our our lamps keep burning in the name of Jesus Christ. Speak, Lord, and we will hear yes. in the name of the Jesus name Christ. Of Jesus. Instruct our feet, in Heavenly Father, and we will go in Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Thank you, Father. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Amen. Thank you so much, Sister Mary. Let's begin to declare our faith statements to the glory of the Lord. Hallelujah. Namadu se trinanda sumba na seku toko bono. Wimbrandina kota bala. Palina se takiribi. Kiela basa taka. 
in the name of Jesus. We hallow you, our Father, for being with us this morning. Thank you for every petition, for every request, for every supplication that has arisen from this altar, from different ends of the earth, unto you. May your name be praised and glorified forever. Lord, we pray that this day, the 18th day of this fasting, you will cause us to access the portion of today. Every day there is a portion of your blessing, portion of grace, portion of the oil of heaven, portion of the, the revelation of Christ into our being. Lord, let to this portion reach out to us. Let to this portion be our possession. Be thou exalted, even as you cause us to bear fruit, fruit that will gladden your heart today. Thank you, for you will go before us even today to level the mountains, to make the crooked way straight, to fill the valleys, and to give us far beyond that which we Ask that far beyond that which we've crossed, you will show your shall come to pass, shall be covered with the knowledge of your glory. The nations of Europe shall be covered with the knowledge of your glory. The nations of Asia shall be covered with the knowledge of your glory. The nations of Australia, the nations of North America, the nations of South America, all shall be covered with the knowledge of your glory as the waters cover the sea. This is our passion. This is our prayer. Be thou glorified. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. We shall be the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. All right. The Lord bless you all. Please